Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm keeping my voice down because Otty is literally napping in the room that's like just off this one. So keeping my voice low because the last thing I want to do is wake her up. <laughs> just want to firstly say thank you so much for all your lovely comments. You guys are just the best and I genuinely mean that. I feel very lucky to have you. Just thank you so much. So you may have seen in the time lapse this morning I was doing my makeup and basically just getting ready. I thought it might be nicer for me to just do that in a time lapse because I'm like in the zone. <laughs> um, just trying to get it done as quick as I can. And then to talk you through the products that I used afterwards. So for my skincare, I actually did a cult beauty order and I just went wild on new things because I just feel like I've been hating my skin recently. I think it's, it's a combination of just like, post-birth hormones and just feeling like my skin is really lacking in like juicy plumpness. It needs some love, it needs some care and attention. I'm not gonna lie, I have not been the best at keeping up with my skincare routine. So sometimes when I get a bit like that, <laughs> I like to order new things to like spark my excitement again. I know I probably shouldn't. I know I should probably just go through all the skincare that I already have. But it's nice to try new things every now and then. I love my Foreo. However, I had lost the charger and it just wasn't one of those things that I was taking the time to put back into my skincare routine. Um, when you have a baby, I feel like all the things that you tend to give a bit more time to kind of get cut out and you're trying to just do the bare minimum as quick as you can. So the old Foreo, it didn't get its time um however i was like i need to use my foreo again because i feel like my skin has never been as good as when i'm using this for a second cleanse so i'll use at night when i take my makeup off i'll use my cleanser and then i'll go in with my oskia renaissance cleansing gel which i mean i've been using and loving for years and this and that combination my skin loves it absolutely loves it. It really genuinely makes a huge difference to the appearance of my skin. Um, so this morning, because I wasn't wearing makeup obviously, I just did these two things together. Then this is a new product that I haven't used before but I really liked it. This is the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Exfoliating Toner. I really like the packaging. It has like this really satisfying like click. Um, so I used that, loved it. Um, the next thing I used was this. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Vitamin C Serum. Everything this says is what I need. <laughs> this was also really lovely. Again, it was the first time I've used it. Also, if you can see here, this is uh, one of my extensions that came out when I was blow drying my hair. Don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I didn't until I'd finished and it was just sat there chilling. Um, I have not had my hair done since December. These extensions are hanging on for dear life. Um, I think this is probably the longest I've ever kept them in for. And the reason I'm not taking them out is because I've run out of the stuff that like melts the glue. So, I mean, I do have an appointment with Sam in early May. So fingers crossed I can get to that point. I mean, I haven't lost many, but I forgot to move it. <laughs> just chill in there um anyway this was really really lovely um it felt quite like um it felt quite sticky when i was applying it but it really wasn't sticky on my skin at all uh next thing i used was this this is the dr dennis gross hyaluronic marine do it right eye gel i was totally influenced by poppy to buy this she ordered this and i sat with her when she went through her delivery and she was like, you have to try this eye cream. It is so nice. And she was right, as always. And so I ordered that. Um, and then probably my favourite thing I used this morning, which I, have again, haven't used before, um, is the Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Kale and Spinach Hyaluronic Acid. Oh my gosh. Firstly, it smells incredible. Secondly... I thought this was going to be one of those creams that feels really rich and thick on your skin, which it does when you apply it and it feels really, you know, when you put like um, kind of like the Clinique Moisture Surge where it's like 
watery almost like you can feel it quenching your skin it was like that but it sunk in so quickly that i was like oh my god i can just go straight in with my spf like i didn't really have to wait so i'm already very excited to use this tomorrow and then for my spf i am using the equilibrium by hourglass this stuff just gives you the best glow um i really like this it doesn't make my eyes watery or um i don't know like a lot of the time spfs like really react with my eyes um and this one doesn't and it makes my skin look really dewy and healthy so love that in terms of makeup i mixed the new NARS um, Light Reflecting Foundation, which I have in the wrong colour, which is why I'm mixing it. This is in the shade Vienna, which is definitely, I would say like two or three shades too dark for me right now. It might be good in the summer. Um, with my old trusty fave, the NARS Sheer Glow. And this is in the shade Mont Blanc. So I put this on and then I kind of dotted this around, <laughs> um, which I'm really enjoying. Then I used my old fave the collection lasting perfection concealer in shade ivory under my eyes and anywhere where i've got like blemishes i use this this is a huda beauty um bronzer very nice it's called glowish and it's in the shade medium soft radiance bronzing powder i really really like this it's not as um pigmented as i thought it would be i think it's because i'm used to using the bare minerals like um loose powder that is like you have to be very light-handed with that um then on top of that i use the natasha denona bloom highlighting blush which i'm just obsessed with i love it then for highlight i used the becca cosmetics uh champagne pop highlighter when i heard that becca were going to be discontinuing as a brand and like all their products i bought one of these because i do love them a lot for my eyebrows my trusty fave the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in medium brown and then on top of that i use the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze brow styling wax and i just like combed that through on my eyelids i use the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette which is an absolute bloody mess because these two have broken <laughs> i've had this a while and it's not traveled very well <laughs> let's just say that um I need to go back through my eye, um, eyelashes, my eyeshadows, and just pick out some like new, new um, palettes, basically. But I use the shade Rustic, and I just use that all over my lid. Nothing too fancy. Um, and then for eyelashes, I use the Hourglass Unlocked, which is like my ultimate fave right now. And then on my lips. As always the Tarte Exposed which I still need to try and find somewhere. Where's it gone Tarte? I need to know. And then to set it I used the Urban Decay All Nighter in Ultra Glow. Can you tell that I want to be really glowy? <laughs> I don't really have a lot of plans today. It's actually quite a casual day which I'm excited about. I am going into town to get my nails redone. Um, so if you live in Brighton and Hove, um, then the place that I get my nails done is BW Collective. Um, and Beth does my nails and she is incredible. As you guys know, I don't, I'm not like, I don't care for my nails. Like it's one of those things that I should do and I should care for, but I hate doing my own nails. My nails are really brittle. They break. They never look good. I hate my hands. I hate the shape of my nail beds. Like everything about like my nails and my hands, I just hate. So I just don't put the time into them. Um, and I honestly think I hadn't had my nails done in like three years until I went to see Beth like last month. Um, so this is my second set that I've had with her. And you can see they're like growing out slightly but I only had those done three weeks ago so I think they look pretty damn good still um but yeah I'm very excited to get my nails done and yeah that's that's my day really and then I'm gonna come home do a bit of tidying um cook some lunch slash dinner and see where the day takes me should we get you dressed mm. yeah got teeth coming through haven't we Otty? big teeth at the top she's already got her two bottom ones yeah 
and then she's got another one next to that coming and then her two top ones. My goodness me! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I honestly think choosing Otty's outfit for the day is like one of my mm. favourite things. I prefer it to like picking my own outfit. And I bought a couple of these mm. bits from Zara. So this is a little body um, with like a frilly, careful, we have to be gentle with Nala, don't we? <sighs> yeah, very cute. I think I might put her in this one. This is probably my favourite thing ever. <gasps> How cute is this dress? It has little oranges. These are all from Zara, by the way. Little oranges. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Oh. Oh my goodness me. The crawling is starting, guys. The crawling is starting. Isn't it? When you want something, you're determined to get there. This little one, how cute, it's got a collar. You know I love a collar. Um, and then these little trousers, which I think I'm gonna do with this top today. How do you feel about that? Is this an outfit you approve of? And then a little cardigan, keep you warm, some socks. Should we get you changed? Okay. I want this outfit for myself. Look how cute you look. Hey. Yeah? Uh. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> Otty is with Alfie's parents for a couple of hours, which she's very excited about. Um, so she's just gone. These have just arrived from Amazon. Now you might remember, we put this little cork board. It's not actually cork. I think it's cork underneath, but it's got like linen over the top um, in Otty's room. And every time I come in here, I'm like, I need to order drawing pins. And I finally did. I just ordered them on Amazon. I got these little like wooden ones. And then these really cute little sunflower ones. So now I can stick some photos on all the crazy things I do when she's not here. <laughs> I feel like when we get like time when she's not here, we just pick the weirdest things to do. Like I don't need to do this right now, but I'm excited to. I was doing Otty's photos and then very quickly I was like, oh my God, I need to be on a call. So I will show you, not that there's very many on there, but I will show you her little cork board when I get back. But for now, chucking on me Converse, heading into town to get my nails done. I'm literally just pissing at myself <laughs> because that is the sort of shot that if Alfie saw me filming that, he would take the absolute piss out of me. That one was for you, Alfie. This is usually the part of any of my videos, oh, I think my camera's about to fall, where I talk to you about what I'm currently listening to, podcast-wise. And for my journey into town, I am gonna listen to Hey Now, Hey Now. I think their newest episode is on Bridesmaids, which I'm very excited about because that is a classic film. So I'm gonna get that episode up now. Um, if you guys don't know what Hey Now, Hey Now is, it is Emily and Barney, and they are two best friends, and they discuss loads of amazing, incredible films, things from like Mary-Kate and Ashley, to Bridesmaids, Christmas films, animations. It's basically like such a good podcast. They actually remind me a lot of me and Mark, um, which I think is why I really enjoy listening to them. But yeah, looks like that wherever you listen to your podcasts. I actually featured in one of the episodes. We did an episode on Angus songs and perfect slogging. So if you haven't listened to that, I actually joined them to discuss the film because I requested it. <laughs> I was like, guys, please do Angus songs and perfect slogging because that is such a banger of a film. And they were like, come on it and talk about it with us. So I did and it was 
probably one of the most fun podcasts I've ever recorded because it wasn't about me. <laughs> it was about something else, which is really refreshing to like do sometimes. Um, but yeah, I loved it. So I will leave a little link. the office and Alfie's trying to <laughs> fit a rail up these stairs unsuccessfully. <laughs> right down there. I literally had it apart the other day. Oh you can't pull it apart. <laughs> okay you just gonna have to walk through it. <laughs> Nails are done. How nice are they? I'm obsessed. So I've got little leopard print tips and then like a fluoro yellow. I love them. So I've just been doing a couple of worky bits and Alfie is picking up Ottie on the way back from the office. So I thought I would get started on dinner, which tonight is courtesy. HelloFresh. Very excited to be working with HelloFresh in this section of the vlog. HelloFresh is a meal kit company. I know a lot of you will already be very familiar with them. Alfie and I love and use HelloFresh. Also, I'm not gonna lie, you guys know I am no chef. I love to bake. Cooking is not really my thing. I'm much more of a like chuck something in the oven that doesn't require any putting together. I actually think since lockdown, Alfie and I really found our love for cooking from scratch. And it was something that, when we actually put the time into doing it, just made us feel so much more on top of our lives. <laughs> and it was just such a nice thing for us to do together. And since having Ottie, it's definitely something that we have much less time for. Um, and that is why HelloFresh is ideal for us because it means that our meals for the week are delivered with everything you need in order to make the dishes and it is honestly so simple. And not only that, I genuinely believe I'm a better cook because of it because you're putting together ingredients that you might not know how to put together unless you're following the ingredients cards. This is one from a previous box. It's actually one of my favorites. It's the Speedy Creamy Chorizo and Sweet Corn. So if this one ever comes up, I highly recommend. I also find that now we have Otti, we have to be a lot more planned. And I would say that when it comes to meals and eating, I prioritize Otti. And I'm not often prioritizing myself or what I'm gonna eat. And this makes it a whole lot more simple because when we're planning our meals for the week, we can add in three, four HelloFresh meals, um, and we know exactly what we're gonna eat, and it's packaged up in the fridge in the meals that we need. So they have 37 recipes a week, or you can choose among their preferred plans, so things like vegetarian, or family friendly, or rapid, which are the ones that I tend to steer towards. Another thing I really like about HelloFresh is that you can pause or cancel the subscription at any time. So if you're going away, or you just wanna trial it, or you want it for a specific week where you know you're gonna be really busy, um, it's nice that you can like, stop and start um, however that suits you and your lifestyle and your family which is great so the recipes that i went for are the cheesy chorizo topped beef enchiladas with wedges guacamole and zesty sour cream delish um, oh i also got a side um, this is the honey drizzled bacon wrapped in halloumi um, I got the creamy pesto pasta with peas, spinach and cheese. That is one of the rapid meals. And then a family meal, which is the bacon crusted cheese and spinach penne bake with balsamic dressed salad, which I think is the one I want to make today because this just sounds delightful. And I love me a balsamic dressed salad, especially on a sunny day. So this one does take a little bit longer, but that's fine because Alfie and Otti aren't here to distract me right now. So I am gonna get to it. And then everything you need for that recipe comes in its own little numbered bag. We've got a large pan boiling with salt, 
I've got the oven set to 200 degrees. I've got my instructions. I've prepped all of my ingredients. Um, I don't know who I think I am. Nigella, definitely not. <laughs> Half and peel and thinly slice the shallot. Do you know what? I might get Alfie's nice knife out. I'm sure he'll be okay with that. He won't mind. <gasps> oh my God, so much easier. Oh no, my eyes are watering. I can feel it. I'm scared I'm gonna chop my new nails off. <laughs> <laughs> there is certainly something very mindful about cooking especially when there's no distractions you can just pop on a podcast that's what Alfie always does he puts podcasts on or like a YouTube video or something oh my god I'm well and truly butchering this shot okay great the cheese <gasps> just grated my nail I need to calm down <laughs> I'm not used to having nails how am I doing it? how am I grating all of my nails right now I think I'm only supposed to do one thing of cheese but I'm going to do two Okay, step two, cook the pasta. When boiling, add the penne to the water and bring to the boil and cook until tender for 12 minutes. Set timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, counting down. Thank you. It says for me to pop my spinach in a colander in the sink so that when my pasta is boiled, I can just pour it over the spinach, which will wilt it. which sounds good to me. What I wanna know is, when you cook, do you clear as you go, or do you make a mess and tidy it all up at the end? I think I'm a bit of both. If I've got a bit of time, like waiting for this pasta to boil, I'll start tidying. But if it's something like a risotto where you kind of need to keep your eye on it, or a breakfast when you're scrambling eggs, then the kitchen, for me, looks like an absolute mess, and I just sort it out at the end. <laughs> after breakfast obviously because I want to eat my food while it's hot whereas Alfie is the kind of guy who will always eat his food cold because he'll be doing loads of other things before he eats it and I'm just like no I couldn't do that whilst the pasta is cooking I'm gonna pop my pan on have got it on a little drizzle of oil I'm gonna chuck in my bacon lardons and Stir fry it until lightly browned for one to two minutes. Pasta is done and poured on the spinach. Now I need to put the bacon lardons into a bowl with the fat. We're still cooking. With the breadcrumbs, olive oil, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So, using my new pan Alfie got me for Christmas, I am going to pop that on a medium heat with some olive oil. Add the shallots. Stir fry until soft for three to four minutes. Two tablespoons of plain flour. One, two, until it forms a paste. Someone has come home. <laughs> Gradually stir in water for the sauce. The roux is coming together and it's looking good. So this is essentially the sauce that goes over the pasta bake. <laughs> then, sprinkle on the crumb. Okay, now this goes into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. 
this is what it currently looks like delicious we are all done i'm gonna pop this balsamic over the rocket a little bit of salt and pepper mm, this looks so good all served up and this is the finished product so we have our little salad and the pasta bake and i mean i don't know if you saw but that was a huge portion so the portion sizes are extremely generous there's still so much left for us to have tomorrow um, but this looks delicious so i cannot wait to tuck in if any of you watching would like to give hellofresh a try then you can get 50% off your first box and then 35% off the following three boxes. All you have to do is use my code ZOESUG at checkout. I'll pop it along here. I mean, I think you know how to spell that, but just in case. Um, and this is completely worldwide, wherever you are in the world watching this. If you can get HelloFresh delivered, you can use this discount code. I will leave a link below that you can go on over and check out. And as I said, you can use my code Zoe Sug. Um, and yeah, let me know if you try it, what your favorite kind of things to cook are. And um, I hope you enjoyed my little cook along. Do you like it? I've only had one mouthful so far, but pasta is my favorite food, isn't it? The thing that I love about HelloFresh is you wouldn't be cooking with these ingredients. That's literally what I said. If it wasn't about HelloFresh, That's like genuinely being serious. The taste of this. It teaches What's in me it? how to cook. Garlic? No, no it's not garlic. What, what is. is it? Thyme. Thyme. You would never cook with thyme. This is my kind of meal. Mm. It is bath time in this house for Ottilie Rue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this angle is not cute. Oh, are you filming? Look at the size of my ass. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> What's mummy doing? She did some splashing. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hello. Hiya. She's just started doing this thing where she really smiles and laughs at pictures mm. on the walls. Every night. So every night before we put her to bed, this is all she wants to do. <laughs> is she laughing? Straight that one then. Night night. Night night. You can't climb in. <laughs> you can't climb in. Say night night Nala. Night night geese. Night night tiger. Good afternoon guys, it's the following day. I just <laughs> thought I would put in the footage that I have so far to start editing it. Because um, I know I want to film a little bit more tomorrow, so don't worry if this is not the end of the vlog. But, <laughs> you know the little clip I filmed before I left the house yesterday and I was like, Alfie would, Alfie would take the piss out of me for this. I thought, I'm going to let him see it and then you can see his actual reaction. So I'm gonna I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to let you watch my little clip. I'm expecting David Attenborough oh, to no, get no, in no. touch afterwards for it's you to be a camera woman like on the it's, team. It's the most subtle of shots, but it's something that I would never normally do, and I just know you would take the piss out. Oh, of it. so it's not like some B-roll on the. I yeah, thought, so yeah it is. I, I'm expecting like this, like some kind of like camera movement as you're like leaving the door or something. <laughs> Only done your laces up halfway up the shoe. Oh, they're only threaded in that. <laughs> <They're laughs> <they're laughs> missing, you're missing half the. the that they've the, always been half like that. the holes on they the shoe. They arrived like that. <laughs> yeah, they arrived unlaced, and you just left them unlaced. <laughs> I'm laughing, but 
I'm not laughing at it in a bad way because I shoot stuff like this as well. So that's I'm not taking right. the piss. No, that's <laughs> Shit. Right. It's funny because when I shoot that, you're like, come on, we've got to go. Stop. Why is your camera filming you put your shoes on also, and now you're the one doing it? Also, I'm actually crying with laughter. Also, I feel like your vlogs are way, like, you have a lot more B roll in your vlogs. Like, you do, like, nice music and, like, he makes yeah, coffee. How have you edited so it kind this of in? makes sense. I, want to see how I don't really have any other B roll. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only shot. <laughs> no, the whole morning was B-roll, really. When I was getting ready, that's all time-lapse. Were well, you going to watch my whole vlog? No, I want to watch the one part, but like, as a, as a standalone clip. <laughs> I can't Did wait. Did you like to, it? I can't oh my wait God. to be vlogging, am... normal chatting the whole time, and then just cuts to that clip. Oh. Are you going to put a little four seconds of music <laughs> over that one clip? <laughs> Are you? No. No music. No. What? No, so music. no music. You're just gonna leave it like that? No, you can't. I'll speed it up, like. No, you can't. <laughs> anyway. what, and then what? The audio. Will they will have already watched it. Then the point. audio will be even worse. It will actually. <laughs> they will have already seen the clip. What you did with it? Yeah. Okay. By now... the way, for any of you watching this, oh yeah. Wait, I, wait, I wait, wait. If they've already seen it, can you comment down below now if you're watching? With what was going through your head, if anything, because they might have, they might have just not noticed when you were watching that. Were you like, "This is a weird Zoe clip," or like, "Zoe's edited that differently"? Like, did anyone notice? Now? I do sometimes do like random like B-roll shots. Like, I do quite like to yeah, put my like camera down. And stuff. Yeah, I do enjoy putting the camera down and just capturing the footage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've probably shot that clip 20 times, so I'm not laughing at you. No, no, I know, I know. I just knew you would find that I've funny. I've probably got that. Oh, no, I don't. I was going to say, in this video, I'm editing. Oh, God. Anyway, he just started laughing about it again. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> when you did it, did you, did you have the screen flipped over? No. Yeah. So you could see what, you were, yeah. what it was looking like? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it looks like you don't know what. <laughs> like, did you set that up as a purpose, like a nice angle to do your shoes up, or did you just put the? No, I up? just put it down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just skilled. I just know these things. No, I'm saying it doesn't look good. <laughs> no, I'm saying you're not skilled. I'm saying I can tell that you didn't try. Shut and then you're like, oh, no, I'm just still. I think that's a good shot. It's just not straight on. I'm not going to put it in. No, you have to put it in. So whilst I wait for Alfie to get back with a lazy Saturday morning breakfast, yeah, I'm gonna do some tidying of the kitchen because there is stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's never ending, um, but I actually quite enjoy it. Like I like putting on like a podcast or I don't know, a YouTube video and just getting as much done as possible. Tidy house, tidy mind and all that. This vlog has been classically bitty. I woke up this morning and looked in our fruit bowl and I was like, those bananas, they've just not got much of a chance. So I decided to make a banana loaf. Flashbacks to 2020 um, and a lockdown loaf. Um, and I used the Mary Berry recipe, which is an all-in-one method, which is why I like it. I'll leave a little link in the description box if you want to check out her recipe. Yeah, look, made a little Mary Berry loaf. Got so many flowers in my house right now, I love it. <laughs> You're copying my shot. <laughs> We're actually about to head out to the garden centre, which is such a sunny Sunday activity and I'm very very excited 
um, Otty is dressed and ready. It's quite warm and I feel like I'm wearing like autumn. Like I'm about to put black boots on. Is that a bit of a silly thing to do? You know when you've just got like, I'm gonna put that outfit on because it's foolproof. Like I've got my t-shirt dress, I've had this years. But yeah, I'm basically dressed for autumn and it actually looks quite warm out there. We are going with my mum and my brother. Probably grab a little bit of lunch as well, but yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> In it, you set up now. What? What you doing? Oh, beautiful. Coming into the little farm shop. What do you need? Orange juice. Orange juice. Yeah. Come on then, Otty. I think I'm in love with the donut. We're back and these are the donuts that I went for. Little Dolce, Dol, Dolce, Dol, I can't say it, Dolce de Lesh, is that how you say it? Um, a cookies and cream and almonds and then just a classic strawberry. Um, I did just realise also when I got back, I don't know why I bought donuts because I also baked a banana loaf this morning, so between us we've got quite a lot of cakes to eat. <laughs> but mum and Joe will help. We are currently putting... Mm, dilemma. Here we go. Middle of the wall. Mm. Middle of the thing above. Oh. That's the middle of the thing above. Oh, that's the middle of, middle of the thing above. Ye oh, I can't wall. really see because you're kind of standing. Yeah, that's it. Middle that's of the it. Wall. Middle of the thing above. Uh, I think thing above. The thing above. So cute. Like that? Yes. What do you think, Otty? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit lower? Uh, Ooh, I think up here. Yeah. This was a gift from Poppy and Sean, which they actually gave us the week before you were born. We were set out in the garden and they gave it to us as a little present. I actually think I have a clip of that because I filmed a vlog and I just never uploaded it. So if I can find the clip, I will insert that here. It's a little trip, baby then. present. Just a little baby short. present. I still feel like you, I, I like had to check you didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> what a suck! What is it? <laughs> Is it a wall hack? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Have you seen them, Zoe? Oh, oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So or to teach her the alphabet. Do you need to hold it up? Isn't lovely. it so cute? Really nice. Really They're nice. all handmade. So nice. Oh my god, thank you guys. You like it? I love it. It's unique. Yeah, so they're all different. I'll show you in a minute. Thank you guys. You're welcome. I love it's okay. It. Oh, she's going to be like learning the alphabet from her little pictures. Yeah. Moment of truth. <laughs> Why did that happen? <sighs> Is that straight? It should be. Step back. Yeah, lovely. Is it straight? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can learn down here. See? And then as you get older, we'll be like, can you reach the apple yet? <laughs> can Which you? I like it because they're quite niche things. Yeah. So it's like swan, the S or like rose, do you know what I mean? Grapes. One day you'll be able to Otty, reach. Can you see the xylophone? Which one is it? <gasps> <laughs> you knew she'd be able to reach that Otty, one. Otty, can you see... The not no we're not going to try again. Yeah. Yes, girl. All right, Otty, can you see? I'm going to go hard. The swan. Where's the swan? Uh, Where's the swan, Otty? That's the tomato. There's the swan. Do you know what's so wild? When Poppy and Sean gave this, one, she was just in my tummy, and now she's just touching it. She loves it. <laughs> Have you got hiccups? <laughs> Here we go. Who's that? Uh, for any of you that are interested in this, um, it is by a company called Moppet. So on Instagram, they're at Moppet, and I think that's their website too. And these are all hand 
designed and crafted and they're all in limited runs. So I'm pretty sure Poppy and Sean said this was the only one like this that they had. Yeah, each one is one each of one. Each one is one of one. Um, and isn't that such a special thing for them to buy Otty? Because, I mean, she'll have this like until she's so much older and then I'm assuming future children will also learn the alphabet from it. But it's just such a like nice, thoughtful, really lovely gift. Um, so yeah, Moppet is where that's from. Each one takes two months to make by hand. Yeah, I like just wouldn't even know where to start. It's a like, technique that they use. It's all wool and like natural dyes. Ethical. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> My hair has just progressively got <laughs> worse and worse as the day's gone on. Today should have been a hair wash day. Today was not a hair wash day. <laughs> Otty honestly gets the best light in her bedroom in the evening. I could just sit in here every evening and just chill. I never showed you her pin board. Um, and didn't want to end the vlog without showing you. So, very quickly. See, just look at this. The sun's coming in. It's lovely. It's very peaceful. It's Otty cute this is when she was a week old and we went to one garden easter in the park this was the day before i was induced i want to say um and then this is on my birthday blowing out the candles and then this gorgeous felt kind of 3d name sign was custom made for Ottilie. She used all of the colours that she knew Ottie had in her room um, by Brown Betty Blue which is her Etsy site um, and how cute. So I've just pinned that on there as well and then hopefully over time we can fill it with more things because currently obviously Ottie <laughs> doesn't have a lot of things to stick to it but I like that it now has something on it because obviously for eight months there's been nothing there and now I'm very happy that we've also hung this because again <laughs> for eight months it's just been on the floor ready to go up here um but yeah love it thank you so much for watching this video as always I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a lovely rest of the week wherever you are and I will see you very soon